A pleasant day to all. Today we are going to complete a projectile question. This question is about a golf player that hits a golf ball with a velocity of 20 meters per second. The ball's initial flight is 30 degrees to the ground. To further enhance your understanding of projectiles, we are going to answer these six questions. Please have your notebooks ready so that you can pause the video and take notes where necessary. We are going to determine 1. The initial vertical and the horizontal velocities of the golf ball. 2. The time for the flight of the golf ball. 3. The time the golf ball took to reach its maximum height. 4. The maximum height reached by the golf ball. 5. The range or the horizontal distance covered by the golf ball. And 6. The height of the golf ball after 0.6 seconds. Now let us look at the first question. Please pause and calculate along with me or pause the video and test yourself first. Remember that the vertical initial velocity or the y component equals to the sine of the angle multiplied by v. Therefore, the vertical initial velocity equals to sine 30 degrees multiplied by 20. Therefore, the vertical initial velocity is equal to 10 meters per second. Now let us calculate the horizontal initial velocity. Remember that the horizontal initial velocity or the x component equals to the cosine of the angle multiplied by v. Therefore, the horizontal initial velocity equals to cosine 30 degrees multiplied by 20. Therefore, the horizontal initial velocity is equal to 17.4 meters per second. Now we are going to question number 2 and 3. The values for the initial vertical and horizontal velocities are placed on top of the page for our convenience. The time for the flight can be calculated by using the formula dy which is the distance in the y component. This equals to the initial velocity in the y component multiplied by time plus half negative acceleration multiplied by time squared. Remember that dy at the end of the flight is zero because at this point the ball is on the ground and there is no height. Therefore, zero is equals 10t plus half negative 9.8 multiplied by time squared. From this we get negative 10t equals to negative 4.9 multiplied by time squared. Therefore, time equals to negative 10 divided by negative 4.9. Thus, Time equals to 2.04 seconds. Now let us calculate the time when the ball reached its maximum height. Remember that the time at which the ball reaches the maximum height is half that for the time of the flight. Therefore, this can be expressed as a half of 2.04 seconds which is 1.02 seconds. Let us stop a little and prove this time another way. This is a good opportunity to prove the formulas. We are going to use the formula, final vertical velocity equals to the initial vertical velocity plus half negative acceleration multiplied by time. Remember that the final vertical velocity is zero, this is at the maximum height where the ball is momentarily at rest. Therefore, zero equals to 10 plus negative 9.8 multiplied by time. Thus, time equals negative 10 divided by negative 9.8. Hence, Time equals to 1.02 seconds. This proves that the time for the flight is twice the time to reach the maximum height. Now, let us jump into the next question. Please note that the calculated variables are on top of the page for our convenience. To find the maximum height we will use the formula dy equals to the initial velocity multiplied by time plus half negative acceleration multiplied by time squared. Therefore, dy equals 10 multiplied by 1.02 plus half negative 9.8 multiplied by 1.02 squared. This gives us dy equals to 10.02 plus negative 5.10. Thus, dy equals to 5.10 meters. Now let us calculate the range of the golf ball. The range is the distance from the starting position to the final position of the ball along the x component. The range can be calculated as dx equals to the velocity in the x component multiplied by time of flight. 
Therefore, the range equals to 17.4 multiplied by 2.04. Hence, the range equals to 35.50 meters. Now for the final question. In this question, we want to find the height of the ball after 0.6 seconds. To determine this height, we can use the formula dy equals to the initial velocity multiplied by time plus half negative acceleration multiplied by time squared. In this case, the time is given. Therefore, dy equals 10 multiplied by 0.6 plus half negative 9.8 multiplied by 0.6 squared. This gives us dy equals to 6 plus negative 1.76. Thus, dy equals to 4.24 meters. In support of our work, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a blessed day.